We, we've been working on the last uh, three days really hard. What, what are we doing in the last eight minutes of a game? You know, what are we doing in those last eight minutes? Because we're taking some shots, we're making some defensive errors that you can't win tight games. And uh, so and we might be around 500 right now where the game was in balance with, with eight minutes to go, and uh, that's the right direction because we weren't certainly going into today's game. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. Coach, to your left, Chris, obviously Aubrey's performance and how that opens up things up for your offense. Yeah, I mean, that's huge for us to get guys who can make shots like that. And, he, you know, with most freshmen, and I've said it on the air, it's most freshmen, it's not a matter of making shots, it's a matter of playing some defense early in their career. And the way he continues to learn so much about defense, uh, we haven't been able to get him in there as much or just learn the nuances of some, some things we do offensively. So it's huge just to have another guy that can stretch the floor for us. Coach to the middle, Rod. John, you talked about swag earlier this week. Was there a point, given the occasion and everything else that was going on, that you felt like with Aubrey hitting those threes that these guys finally got their swag back and Karis is hitting some shots and Zach's hitting some? I, I love to see our kids when they're happy. And well, I don't want them running all the way out at half court. To see the freshmen, the freshman group is really tight. And to see the freshmen surrounding their teammates, it just pumps everybody up. It gives everybody so much confidence. Coach, first row to the right, Andy. You saw those shots fall from Aubrey, but then you also saw um, the, the three kind of open up the, the window for Doyle there in the middle. How nice is it to see some of these young guys kind of understanding those concepts and starting to really kind of, you know, get those things going? And I, I mentioned this to my assistant coaches, but I think one of the most gratifying things is many of the baskets down the stretch were scored by Ricky and Aubrey in those last ten minutes of the game. Um, and if, I think Harris got one, and I think well, Zach got a couple earlier, but it was just big to just have the freshmen be able to say, oh, this is, you know, we always talk about outliers on our team. We all know that Spike and, and their freshman year and Zach have been outliers where they're coming off the bench and they're just keen to win. Um, so it's, it's big to have, Ricky's already been one in the Syracuse game. For Aubrey today, this is big. And it gives, it's good for Aubrey. It's really good for Muhammad. It's good for Cam. And they look at this and they say, that could be me next time. And that's why we practice extra with the young guys. Coach, third row to the right. Coach, your message to the team down by 13 in the second half. Well, I, I you know, at that time you're, you're in timeouts, and we're, we're just trying to keep everybody calm and move on to the next play. Uh, you know, we we just we we, we put Aubrey in because we just said we got to get another guy to shoot the ball in. Derek was not having a great day; he was 0 for 8 or 0 for 7 or something like that. And we said, let's just get another shooter on the floor that feels good about his shooting. And because uh, uh, Aubrey's first two shots in the first half looked down. They were down. We had a lot. We missed three or four layups. We missed four foul shots in a row. And we missed some really good-looking shots that went in and out. So we're, I, I wasn't like, hey, we're not playing hard enough. We're not playing smart enough. We had one turnover. Just to keep playing, pressing on, sing, hit singles two by two. Coach, back to your right. Brandon? In the second half, there were zone looks that you were putting their weight. How much... Um, right now is the zone just you know kind of a stopgap versus kind of being a weapon? If you know. Well, we're working to be, have our defense be weapons in several areas, but it takes so much time, whether it was a two zone, a three zone, just to get everybody. We missed two or three slides in that thing, and then we're just giving up open shots. And other times it really helped us. John has tremendous plays coming out of timeouts. So he's down up a man-to-man -man play most of the time, so we try to change that up as much. But it would be good if we can be really confident about playing multiple defenses at a time with this particular team. It's really hard with a young team, though. Coach, uh, just one moment while the mic gets passed back here. We'll bring it to the front row. John, to your left. Bear with us. We only have one working mic today. Well, it's a, a typical Tuesday afternoon in Michigan. I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, looking down in your own building, uh, what was it that you were saying to these guys in the huddle at that point? That's what I just mentioned. It was just, there was nothing big. All right, here's the next play. Here's what they're doing offensively. Two by two, we're going to get back at this thing. You can't, you can't get them to score 13 points in the next minute. Just hang in there. And it's all we needed to make. You know, I, I'm looking at the scoreboard, it's 13, and we make two in a row, and, and all of a sudden it's a seven-point game. And I said, all right, now we can play. So it's, it was, it's just big for us to... To, uh, to see that success, all the hard work, because these guys really worked hard, pay off. Even before the, uh, in the week of exams, uh, be, or before the Coppin game, the SMU game, we were making progress uh, during that week. But just to see them pay off, it's, it's what you need to have another good practice, because they saw it right in front of their eyes.
Coach, right in front of you, Jake. Coach, you mentioned outliers. Uh, Aubrey tonight, Max had one earlier. What is it about those guys off the bench that they they come off they come off and they shoot a few in a row as opposed to just one this game, one a couple games later? Well, I think that you have to have having guys that come off the bench and make shots is really difficult to do. Um, very few young men can do that. They just think about it. They've been starting their whole life. They got a usual warm up. Now all of a sudden, hey, get in there, Aubrey. And he's handed the ball, and he's open, he's sat there. It's difficult. Few people can do it really well. And that was very encouraging for Aubrey today. So I think you'll see him in that role more often going forward.